Hello everyone, it is Coach Jeff from PRS Fit Nation Ultra Zero Drop Racing Team and today I wanted to talk to you just very shortly about heat acclimation. You know this year in Boston uh, Mother Nature reared her ugly head. A lot of people were very unprepared for it. It's very difficult to train through the off season um, in cold climates and then get slapped with a 90 degree day to go out and run. Um, it has it, the internal effect it has on your body. It's pretty overwhelming and, and pretty hard to deal with it. But now that the summer is here, we're blessed with a couple of things. One, warmer weather. And two, the fact that we have longer days, earlier mornings, longer nights. So what happens? We have a tendency to want to run early in the morning before it gets too warm or late at night after it cools off. And then we get to a race day, especially if we're triathletes, and we have that point in the day where it gets very hot and it gets very humid and our body starts to respond in a negative manner to that because it's not used to adapting to the heat and the temperatures. So one of the things we need to do during the summer is one, monitor what's going on inside of us. Me personally, I love my Polar RCX5, my Polar Heart Rate Monitor. Everyone knows that um, we're very big at PRS Fit Nation on heart rate training and the summer is one of the reasons why. Um, you know, I can be running along and feeling absolutely fine and everything's going good and I might be in a feel like I feel, again, the, the key word being feel, like I'm in a nice upper zone two level and having a nice run. And I look down at my heart rate monitor and my heart rate monitor is telling me that in actuality, my heart rate is in an, up, an upper zone three or maybe even a low zone four level and that could be due to the heat. And it's telling me that I need to do something to change that. Do I slow my pace down or do I start to hydrate a little bit more to cool my insides down as much as I can so I can start to recover a little bit because I'm not going to be able to continue to perform at that level for very extended periods of time. That's one of the reasons why we wear these monitors, not just so we know our training zones. Granted, the monitor is an ideal way to stay within your training zones when the climate is being cooperative. When the climate is not being cooperative, that's a time to really be paying attention to what's going on because on the outside you may be feeling good, but the heart may be starting to work a little bit harder because it has to cool the internal organs. It has to cool the muscles. It has to try to cool the blood down a little bit so that your body will, will settle. You know, when you perspire, perspiration is a way for the body to start cooling itself off. If you're not replenishing those liquids at a cooler rate so you can help that process happen, your heart is going to continue to work harder and that's going to cause you to shut down. So my suggestion is don't just get out in the morning and run at 6 o'clock in the morning before the temperatures get too high or do your bike ride before the temperatures get too high or go on that evening ride with your friends where it's nice and cool and you don't have to, to work too hard. The summer is here. You need to acclimate to the heat. How do I acclimate to the heat? Get out at lunchtime and do a run every now and then. Make sure you take plenty of cool water. I always know that during the summer when I do a run or a long bike ride, my water bottle is filled with cooler water than it is with, with um, than it is during the normal part of the year. Um, I'm making sure that I'm doing everything I can to keep myself as cool as possible, putting cold water on the head, pouring cold water down the back, cold water down the chest, all the things that I can do to help my body keep itself cool so that my heart rate monitor is telling me, okay, you're operating within normal parameters because I want to operate within normal parameters at the most efficient and fast level I can without overheating so my body doesn't shut down and revolt because that's exactly what happens. If I start operating with those internal temperatures too high, if I'm not paying attention to my heart rate monitor, if I'm not listening to this say to me, you're working too hard, then I'm going to shut down because my body is going to overreact just like a nuclear reactor would. Keep it cool. Keep it functional. Keep the heart rate down. Make sure you're watching that polar monitor so you know what's going on inside of you. Train smart. That's a thing you can do. Acclimate, acclimate, acclimate. If you think that I'm kidding, just go sit in your sauna for a couple of minutes and watch how your heart rate starts to elevate 
as your body starts to fight to cool it off. You know, you want to get this battle, you want to beat this battle before it starts to happen. You want to be ahead of the game. You want to keep yourself cool. During races, if they have ice, grab the ice. Put the ice on the wrist. This is a circulation point. will help keep the blood cooler as it goes through the body. Get it on the back of the neck, the front of the chest. Anything you can do to help your heart work more efficiently at keeping your body cool is going to benefit you in the long run. Get acclimated to the heat by getting out there so your body knows what it's like to perform what it's like when it's hot. If you have any questions, send me an email at prsvgmail.com and I'll be more than happy to talk to you about them. As always, be healthy, train smart, have fun, have a great day training out there.